Hi, this is Damon from Top 5 E-Bikes, and today we're gonna to do a quick review of the Bandit Bikes 4Runner. We're gonna do a little bit of a test ride. I'm gonna give you my honest feedback. I've never ridden this bike at all. Um, I've, I've put no mileage on it, so I'm really excited to take it out for a spin. At the time we're filming this review, the Bandit 4Runner is priced at $999. It comes with a 750 watt rear hub motor that delivers 75 newton meters of torque. The battery range is 65 plus miles on a 48 volt 14.5 amp hour battery with a charging time of six hours. The top speed on this class three electric bike is 28 miles per hour with pedal assist and 20 miles per hour with throttle only. The controller is a 48 volt 18 amp controller. There's a cadence sensor and the throttle is a half twist throttle. The brakes are 180 millimeter hydraulic disc brakes. There are six levels of pedal assist and the derailleur is a seven speed Shimano Altus. The 4Runner comes with 26 by four inch Kenda puncture resistant tires. It also comes with a waterproof front headlight that's LED and a rear integrated tail light. The security setting is set with a four digit passcode or you can use the bindable key card to unlock your e-bike. The 4Runner weighs 93 pounds total and it measures 63 inches in total length. It includes fenders but does not include a rack. So right off the bat, I I mean the comfort level of this bike is pretty good. Like look at this straight handlebar. It's nice and long, keeps your arms stretched out in the comfortable angle and the grips are really cushy. Yeah, the grips are cushy and they're also kind of substantial, right? Like, my they, my palms rest pretty easily on the flat part of these grips because they kind of flare out and they look like they're kind of a, uh, like a vegan leather finish on them, which is a nice touch. You don't see in a lot of, a lot of e-bikes like this. You know, it feels pretty steady. It feels like a well-built bike going down this hill. Like, I'm going 17 right now, so. I feel comfortable. I don't feel like a lot of, um, I don't feel like there's a lot of play to this frame, which are the components really. Um, I have the suspension set pretty tight right now, but I, I could loosen it if I wanted to. So far this feels pretty comparable to some of the more well-known fat tire e-bikes that are out there that, you know, carry price tags of $1,500 and up to $2,000. So right off the bat, it feels pretty good. All right, we're at a stop. I'm gonna try to get to 20 on throttle only. Here we go. So 15, 17, okay. I got to 20 really fast. Hey, let's stop. This is actually good straight away to try that test. There was, the car was a little too. Can you stop? Complete stop. Okay, I've got full straightaway ahead of me, so I'm gonna try a throttle test right now. We're on pedal assist level six, um, and let's go. So we are at five, eight, 10, 12, 13, 15, 17, twenty. 20, and I think we're at we're at like a slight incline there too. So that's pretty good. So the fastest you're gonna get this bike in throttle only mode is 20. And of course, because this is a class three bike, we can get to 28 miles using pedal assist, which seems like it's pretty easy with this motor, the 750 watt motor. So what else can I tell you about this bike? It's got a half twist throttle. It's a seven speed. It's got Shimano Altus components, uh, Shimano Altus derailleur and trigger shifters. Not, not the best, but 
they're fine for this type of bike. It's got a nice front suspension too. Uh, I loosened it while we were on those trails just to see how much give it had and I found it pretty, pretty responsive. So yeah, 14.5 amp hour battery, that's 696 watt hours. That's a great battery. Um, that's 60 plus miles of range that you get, which is pretty impressive for a bike that's this big. This bike weighs over 90 pounds, so it's a huge bike. It's gonna take up a lot of space. Not something you're gonna be bringing upstairs or anything like that. But, you know, if you're looking for that type of fat tire e-bike, I mean, they're all pretty heavy. Um, and they're all, have big powerful motors and big big batteries so you know to get one this bike is actually only $999 today I checked it's on sale I think it's normally $1,700 that's the the sticker price but I'm guessing when the sale ends it's still going to be you know $1,300 maybe $1,400 it's still going to be like a really good value so um, hopefully I can publish this video while the price is still a thousand, but you might have to jump on this because that's a lot for for such a such an affordable e-bike. But yeah, so far so good. For first impressions, I'm gonna say really great so far for an e-bike brand I've never heard of. <laughs> that's kind of come from nowhere. That's new to the scene. Uh, I gotta say, I'm pretty impressed with uh, with the Forerunner. All right, so now I'm, I'm ready to give you my final thoughts on the Bandit Bike 4Runner. This bike has actually blown me away. I cannot believe that this bike today only costs $1,000. Yeah, this is July 18th when I'm filming this. Hopefully we get this uh, review out in the next day or two. But you can get this bike with a 750 watt motor, with hydraulic disc brakes, with the Shimano Altus shifter, with all these advanced security features, this amazing LCD display for only a thousand dollars like you need to scoop up that deal if you, if you don't have a bike right now if you're the type of person that likes riding fat tire e-bikes um this is a great fat tire e-bike for you let me tell you some of the the things i really like that to me stand out about this bike number one it feels like a premium bike and even at the msrp of seventeen hundred dollars i think this is a pretty good bike i think this is comparable to something that you would get from you know, a, a company like uh, Avensen or Rad Powers, Rad Power Bikes. In fact, I think component-wise, this thing beats most of the Rad Power Bikes. So, um, you know, the fact that you get this really advanced LCD screen, the fact that you get um, this card that you can carry around makes it feel like you're driving a Tesla or something because that's how you can open your, your Tesla, right? You don't see that in too many e-bikes. I, I, I don't think I've seen that in any e-bike so far, much less an e-bike that costs only $1,000. So um, the styling is the other thing I really like about this bike. Again, it feels like a more premium e-bike, even though it's only $1,000. I'm going to keep saying that, $1,000, because it's, it's I can't, it, uh, the words come out of my mouth and I almost don't believe them. <laughs> but cool looking frame kind of more of a squarish frame a cool styling um, white is not my favorite color for an e-bike in fact if you're going to get a fat tire e-bike white is probably the worst color you can get because it's just going to look dirty all the time but i think the branding looks cool the integrated battery um and then just you know the look and feel of this beefy beefy bike it looks tough it's a tough looking bike so i think that's um one of the things i really like about this bike so another thing that I think is pretty cool about this bike and like other premium, more premium e-bikes, the 4Runner has some pretty good components, right? It's got, um, I already called out the Shimano Altus derailleur. It's got hydraulic disc brakes. It's got front suspension. Um, these grips are very comfortable and they kind of flare out and, and, and make, it, um, make it feel nice when you kind of rest your palms on them. So it's got this nice, upright posture um and it's a very comfortable bike so you know a bike like this and we're getting to the last thing i really like about this bike um it's made to be ridden off-road and the comfort level of this bike while going off-road is is very good i would say 
Um, and that part of that is just these wide handlebars, these grips, the suspension, and these really high quality Kenda puncture resistant tires. Um, so all those things make for really good handling um, in off-road situations. And then, you know, for just cruising around the neighborhood, it's, it's you know, it's gonna get the job done. It's gonna be fun to ride. And um, not necessarily the bike I would choose to cruise the neighborhood in just because of how big and imposing it is and how fast you can go, but um, definitely great for um, more outdoor adventures. All right, now let's talk about the things I don't like about this bike. And I wish I had a longer list of things I don't like, but there's not a lot I don't like about this bike. And um, part of the reason for that is it's so affordable. <laughs> so it's hard to find a lot of gripes with a bike when it has so much, when you get so much bang for your buck. Um, I mean, the things that I'm nitpicking about this bike are, are, are kind of small. So one thing that would be cool about a bike that is this big and this heavy would, would be a 52 volt battery, right? Um, it's a 48 volt, 14.5 amp hour battery, which is a pretty big battery. It's great for a thousand dollar bike. But um, yeah, some of the bikes that are in this class now, are, they're coming with 52 volt batteries, which not, not only is that a more extended range, 70 plus miles, but also potentially more power um, to the motor, right? Just more thrust and a more fun bike. So, you know, that's something maybe you can upgrade. Um, I think it'd be a, a, a cool upgrade for this type of bike. Um, the weight of this bike is no joke. Um, it's 93 pounds. So that's one of the heaviest e-bikes. Uh, I think it's the heaviest one I've ever reviewed. Um, so it's got a wide wheel base. It's a really sturdy, heavy, solid frame. The solid frame makes it feel, you know, nice and safe while you're riding. But again, it's kind of, it almost feels a little too big sometimes when you're riding through a, a crowd of people or you're trying to, you know, have to really be careful throttling slow and, you know, want to run, run people over on a bike that's, that's this big. So for that reason, I would say, you know, that might deter some people from buying this bike. Um, other than that, it's a great bike. Um, you know, it could have come with the rack. It doesn't come with the rack, but again, not a big deal for a bike that's this affordable. Um, it's got integrated brake lights, which is cool. It's got integrated front lights. It's a full featured bike and it comes in a step through, which, you know, appeals to a lot of riders, potentially older riders. But like I said, there's not a lot I don't like about this bike. I think it's a great value and, you know, people should rush out to buy this bike. Like I said, it's a thousand dollars right now. And as a matter of fact, we have a coupon right now for this bike. I'm not sure if you can combine it with the discount. I think if you, I think you might be able to, and then you can get this bike for even cheaper for eight ninety nine. Um, so you're definitely going to want to use that. What's our promo code? Uh, top five e-bikes hundred. Okay. So our promo code is top five e-bikes hundred. So if you want to combine that discount with the currently discounted thousand dollar price, you're going to get this bike for eight ninety nine. If the if they move the price up in the next couple days, which I feel like they're going to soon, you're still gonna get that $100 discount um, using our, our promo code. So, hope you enjoyed this review. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks to Bandit Bikes for sending, this, this, for sending us this e-bike and I've had a lot of fun riding it. Uh, stay tuned for more great content from Top 5 e-bikes. Thank you. If you enjoyed this review, please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment. Visit us at top5ebikes.com or some of our social media accounts. Thank you.